Hello everyone, this is Alex and Jake with Sweet Potato English. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us today. If you like our content and want to see more, please subscribe. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, it would really help us out and make sure to check out our website as well. Great. And now on to our lesson for today. Mm -hmm. So, so, uh, What are we doing this time? Oh, uh, <clears throat> well, I thought let's do another common mistakes video. Okay, that sounds good to me. Yeah, uh, you know, one I hear really often is students mixing the wrong verb with the activity they're describing. Hmm. For example? Uh, many students say, I played fishing, oh. or like, uh, I did surfing. Or I, I go to cycling. Right. Sometimes it can be tough to know which verb goes with which activity. Hmm. Yeah, so I thought we could run through some of the most common ones. Great. These are really important for talking about daily activities. Hmm. Absolutely. So the first verb we're going to look at is play. And when should we use play? Uh, well... There are two common situations where we use play. Uh, the first is when we're talking about musical instruments. Mm. So, for example, I play the guitar. Mm, yep. Or I played tuba in a brass band. Mm. How about the piano? Play. Clarinet. Still play. Mm. Ocarina? <laughs> play. Okay. What about a shamisen? Uh, well, what, do you, what do you think? Uh, play? It's still play. <clears throat> Alright, so Jake, what about the second situation? Ah, uh, well, the second situation is when we're talking about games, including some sports. Not all sports are games? No, usually... Only sports with, with points are considered games. Hmm. So, I can play cards or play Super Mario Brothers on my Nintendo because those are both games. Right, right. And we also play soccer or play baseball, uh, but we don't play, you know, movement sports like skating or surfing. And we don't play fighting sports like judo or, or boxing. Interesting. So, I played basketball is okay, but I played karate is wrong. Exactly. So, what do we use go for? Uh, usually, we use go for activities that need us to go somewhere outdoors, like mm. camping... Or activities where we are always moving, like skiing. Hmm. And we always use ing with go, right? Uh, yep. Hmm. If you use go alone, you need an ing verb. But if you use go to, you're talking about a place or an event. Okay. So we can use go skating, go swimming, go hiking, go fishing... Go shopping, or go running, and so on. Hmm, exactly. And uh, we can use go to to say, I will go to a concert, or I went to the station. Hmm, but I go to shopping is completely wrong. Yes, never say that. Okay. So many people say, I go to shopping. Right. It drives me a little crazy okay <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so finally let's talk about do mm. do is a nice general verb it's usually used for things around the house like chores or hobbies and activities that don't fit into the other two categories mm. so by chores you mean things like I did the laundry, or I will do the dishes. Yes. We can also say, 
I did some gardening or I did yoga or he does woodworking to talk about hobbies. Hmm. Fighting sports also often use do like I do karate or I do kickboxing. Hmm. What about I do swimming? That could be a hobby. Yeah, I think it's technically correct, but it's more natural to use go. You know, I would usually say I play football instead of I do football. Hmm. All right. Good to know. Uh, you know what time it is now, right? Time to do some practice? Exactly. All right. For our activity today, we'll give you a phrase with an activity, and all you have to do is choose the right verb to use with that activity. Mm, it sounds easy, but it might be tougher than you think. Let's go. Question one. I'm going to skating tomorrow. Question two. Let's some yoga this weekend. Hmm. Question three. Shall we the concert next Saturday? Question four. Did you know he can the clarinet? Question five. Make sure you your homework tonight. Question six. I invited him to basketball tomorrow. Question seven. How many people in Japan? Sumo. Question eight. I'd really love to skateboarding sometime. Question nine. Will you the anime convention in Tokyo Big Sight? Question 10. I went to my friend's house to a board game called Dominant Species. You really like that game. I do. <laughs> Side. Throw a little flavor in there, you know. Right. <laughs> Well, that about wraps it up. Now, yeah, hopefully you did a good job. Remember, if you need to get a transcript of our video or any of our videos, you can check out our website. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like an explanation for any of the answers, uh, leave us a comment down below. Remember to like and subscribe. It would really help us out. And don't forget to do your homework. See you next time. See you.